How's it going guys, it's Thomas on Planet Tech and welcome to my first custom minifigure review. This is the first in a series that I hope to become a mainstay staple on my channel and that's reviewing third party custom Lego minifigures. There are some really cool third party sellers out there with some amazing product that I would love to add to my Lego collection and I figured whilst I buy the product I may as well review them on the channel as well. If custom figures are something that you guys find interesting too then do hit that subscribe button, drop a like on the video because I'll be doing tons more of these in the future. So this was actually the first custom Lego minifigure that I ever bought and I bought it from eBay and I think it was around 25 to 30 pounds I think. It was back in 2013-14 and so there is no information on eBay of this figure. Um, the seller clearly isn't selling anymore so yeah there's very little information that I've got on this uh, other than the seller was from Edinburgh. But this is the original packaging that it came in. And as you can see here, it is Wat Tambor, the Techno Union droid leader. Let's get him on the rotation station to have a closer look. But first, who is Wat Tambor? Wat Tambor is a Skate Owen and leader of the Techno Union who pledges battle droids to the Separatist movement. His live action appearances include Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith where he was killed on Mustafar by Darth Vader, but most notably featured heavily in two arcs of the Clone Wars TV show. He became Emir of Ryloth during the Separatist occupation, but failed to flee in time and got captured by Mace Windu and Cham Sandula, who led clones and native freedom fighters to liberate the planet. He also took interest in Art Trooper Echo, who was captured at the Citadel. He kept Echo unconscious in a static chamber and extracted information from his mind that he later sold to Admiral Trench that was used to great effect in combating the Republic at the Battle of Anaxis. History lesson over, let's talk about this figure. So starting at the bottom of the figure we have a 2x2x2 two by two by two blue slope and it is UV printed with what looks to be the design of Wat Tambor's robes. Now I always thought that he had like a wheel at the bottom of his robes, I'm not really sure why, I just feel like he moves too smoothly to be walking, I don't know why, it's kind of weird <laughs> but that was always what I assumed but yeah I can't find any information to back that up. The torso is just a standard Lego blue torso with blue arms and black hands. But what I think is by far the standout of this figure is what I believe to be a 3D printed part of his pressured suit and his head. The detail captured on that mold is just really, really cool. There are three dials that you see him turn to alter his voice in Attack of the Clones. And the tubes look really, really fragile but feel very sturdy. And yeah, the texture on those look really great as well. The mold has been painted in a metallic gold which looks really really good however on the tubes the paint has started to chip away which is a shame and I've barely interacted with this figure at all. I mean it's sat in the, that packaging for as long as I've had it in a drawer and it's not been like rattling around and rubbing up against other things so that is a shame and it just goes to show that the figure wasn't sealed particularly well but nonetheless I do think it still looks pretty cool. The head is painted in this kind of olive green colour and I think they nailed the colour palette for Wat Tambor's head. I think that looks really really good and accurate. The biggest letdown on this figure for me has to be around the neck of the minifigure torso. The designer chose not to paint the underside of the pressure suit and whether it have been gold or blue I think it would look just fine but it's like this white colour and I'm assuming that's either whatever they use to connect the head to the torso or it's just like the filament that they use to print the, the molded part but it just looks really unfinished and it does take away a lot from the final look of this figure. Like I said before I know very little about this designer other than his name and his address that happens to be on the label. There was no card or anything that came with the figure but I do know that they were trading on eBay and they did have a few different figures with uh, custom molded parts so it would have been cool to pick up some more of these but at the time I just really liked the Wat Tambor figure. It was based off of the Clone Wars and I was just loving the show at the time so I wanted to pick one up and have one for my droid army. All in all, I like this figure a lot. I think the mold is great and it had the potential to be a really great custom minifig. However, the finish does lack the quality that you see from custom figures that are on the market now. I'm happy to have a Wat Tambor minifigure in my collection, but I would definitely be keeping an eye open for one that has a better finish to it. 
If you've enjoyed this video then please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and love custom minifigures as I really do want to make these reviews part of my channel. I'll see you in the next one guys. Goodbye.